Oh, Lamont, let me get you a cold glass of milk. Now, now wait a minute, Francis. Now, if my son's exhausted, if he wants something, I'll get it for him. That's my job. OK. Oh, gee, thanks, Pop. No, it's okay. I'll get it myself. Hey, I'll get it, whatever it is. <laughs> you got it, whatever it is. <laughs> My brother is all come oh. round and <laughs> How you doing, Rodney? How you feel? I feel great. Hey, hey, I feel like a tongue sandwich to go. <laughs> Ask me how I want it to go. How do you want it to go? Hey, Francis, you know what? Huh? You married Baskin and Robbins' newest flavor. <laughs> Tootie Nut. That's funny. That's funny, Fred. Hey, what do you want me to do with this luggage? What luggage? Luggage here. Didn't Francis tell you? Oh, I, I, I was leading up to it, Fred. I was. Leading up to what? Well, today was my last check at the unemployment office, and we're out of money, and we're going to have to get out of our apartment at the end of the week, so we're going to move in with you, Fred, until something comes up. Well, you know, you're in luck. Really? Yeah. Something's coming up. Uh, bend over and I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> Is that how you treat a brother? A half brother. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Francis. Hi. Hey, Pop. Hey, son. Uh, did we fix this stove? Yes, we fixed the stove. You know, it's amazing how I get so dirty and you stay so clean and we fix everything. <laughs> hey, did Rodney get back yet? I wanted to help me get that piano off the truck. No, dear, he's not. Or oh, do you know where he is? I have no idea. He's probably somewhere where he's needed. The El Segundo Institute of the Strange. <laughs> Fred, stop it. He's my husband. That's the only reason why he's moving around without pallbearers. <laughs> Will you please consider the idea? Yes. That's it. And the answer is still no. Now, what's your idea, Aunt Francis? I don't want to hear it. Well, don't listen. Go ahead. I, I want to hear it. Rodney happens to be a decent handyman. So I would like to suggest that you give us the basement apartment and make Rodney the manager of the mm -hmm. San Fernandes. Do what? Give you the basement? That place is worth a fortune. Hey, Pop, that sounds like a good idea to me. When I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Fred, please. Rodney needs it. I mean, he needs to regain his self-respect. And if it came from you, I mean, if you asked him or begged him... Begged? Yes. Pleaded with him. It would make him feel... Pleaded? Yes. It would make him feel that you needed his help, and it would help him to feel like a man again. Please, Fred. Do it for me. Listen, just stop crying. We for crying out loud. Hey, come on, Pop. Why don't you be a little understanding, man? I am being understanding. I, I, I always be that way just before I get ready to plead and need. Oh, and thank be. you, Fred. No, I don't want that stone my face. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go upstairs and wash up for the work that we did on Miss Hopkins' stove. <laughs> Okay, Rodney. Yes? Uh, I'd like to beg something of you. What is it? Well, from a pleading point of view, <laughs> I mean, needing-wise. Mm, how would you like to be the manager of Sanford Arms and live there for nothing free? Too far. Huh? Oh, you've gone too far this time, Fred. Sure, you want your sister to live in that dungeon and do all your dirty work, probably for free, right? Well, foul, foul, foul! <laughs> foul, foul, foul! I'll show you foul. How'd you like me to shove a chicken up your nose? <laughs>